Hello everyone, my name is Cameron and welcome to episode 9 of the Evil Within 2. Let's play today. Oh, right, we're going to go into this place. I said that at the end of the last episode. Uh, I'm recording this after the last episode, by the way. Uh, but we're going to go into this place today uh, to uh, the Morrow Operations. Oh, Looks like it's locked by some sort of password. never mind, we're not going to go in there. It's locked. Okay then, so we'll do that at some other point, if we can. If we can, that is. Uh, I think today, I said we were going to go do the girl's voice today. We're going to go find what the hell that is all about. But I don't know if you guys noticed last episode, but we've got a pretty hefty supply of enemies out here uh, that it, it would probably be a good idea to take care of them before we go anywhere. So, um, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to handle the enemies today. So I don't know if I can sneak kill both of these guys. But we're going to try. We're going to try to sneak kill both of these guys. I doubt it's going to work. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Ten enemies using stealth kills. Yeah, I knew it was going to happen. Nope. I want the axe. Just let me get the damn axe. And let me actually hit the dude. No fucking chance, dude. Also, if you guys don't know, there's a skill for Bottle Smash. I don't know if I've gotten it or if that's just an animation that plays out occasionally that Sebastian decides to do. Got her. I did not kill her, though. Well, yeah, I did. That worked out perfectly. <laughs> Killed two zombies with one thing. You know what, we might actually want to just fire one of these in the middle of these jackasses really quick, too. I forgot these only blow up if they actually land on the zombie. Well, there's those two taken care of. I think. Really? You had to see me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Ever see me again? And that's going to be much worse for you. Oh my god, I forgot that they don't fucking die from these that easily. I forgot. For some reason, the shock ones don't kill them. Well. That worked out far better than I planned on it doing. Um. Yeah. Basically, I forgot that what happens when you shoot those on the ground is it basically sets it up like a mine and they blow up as soon as they get too close. Oh, someone's looking for me, but I don't see anybody. Is the jackass over there? There's no way it's that jackass over there. He's too far away. There's no way the dude down by the truck is the one looking for me right now, right? Or here is looking for me. Right? Let's just hide in the bush for a minute. I don't see anybody over there, do you? This is the only dude I see. You know, let's pick him off with the sniper rifle. Oh god, the sniper. Sniper has no, like, function to slow time or anything. Or it does, and I just don't have it. Well, that worked. Still uh, surprisingly rolling on zero deaths right now, guys. And no, some of you are like, what do you mean surprisingly? You look really good at this game. Trust me. I may look like I'm really good at this game. I typically do not do this good at this type of game. <laughs> like, I know what you're thinking. Like, dude, what are you talking about? You're not good at this game. You're fantastic at this game. Like, like what? But trust me, typically I do not do this good. I do, like, so bad, you would think that I've never played a video game in my life. Let alone a horror game. I've played a good amount of horror games, and actually, I kind of want to start playing uh, Resident Evil 7, because my uncle has it for his Xbox One, so I'm probably going to end up playing a bit of that at some point. 
not for the channel, but just as fun to play sort of thing. Um, so like I've, I've played tons of horror games in my life, but like, I'm not very good at them. I've never been good at them. Like I've always sucked at these. So I'm surprised at how well I've been doing in this let's play. Maybe it's cause I'm doing it for YouTube that I'm doing so well. I've noticed that sometimes games, games that I typically do garbage at. I do pretty good at when I'm, when I bring them onto YouTube. Oh, we're here. I didn't notice. All right. Well, we're at the girl's voice now. Probably not, but you know, can we actually, I was gonna say, can we actually go in the fucking thing? Lily, are you here? It's dad. Oh, where did she go? Uh, just follow the, the, the nice glowing footsteps, Sebastian. Oh, this is probably going to lead to my death. Is that how far? Is that how far it's going to take, guys? Uh, how long it's going to go, guys? We're going to die in episode 9. I feel like it's about to happen. We're finally going to die because something. There's going to be something big out here. There's going to be something big in here. Just waiting to murder my ass in there. Oh, God. I'm going to have to crawl through the tiny little hole. I totally don't think this is a bad idea. Love how this office is this clearly not an office? This is clearly like a kitchen. It's Lily's doll. She's been here. Knock it off, you two. I hate my cats. They're annoying. Little girl, surprisingly strong. Ugh, why does that have to why does it have to give me first person at the worst of times? There's no way that little girl. Oh my god, she's in trouble. There's no so goddamn way her. that that little girl. Check out around back. How the fuck did you so climb? Comes out. Well, I'm gonna say that that window probably comes out around back. Oh, I'm a smart ass. Mm. So surprisingly, nothing's attacking me in here. I, I don't honestly know how that makes me feel. Look, there's some scary monster waiting for me to walk out this door. Please politely fuck off. Okay. You don't see anything. Luckily. I mean, I don't see anything yet, I guess, is the better way of looking at it. All right, Lily. Where did you run off to? Well, great. F. What the? Another signal. Good. I'm coming, sweetheart. Just hang in there. Okay. So we're gonna mark basically the area around it. Oh, we have 180 fucking meters to go. Knew something was gonna come for me. Whoa, balls. Oh, come on. Little ass monster things, whatever the fuck you are. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, come on, Sebastian. You're in your fucking incessant need to fucking reload your gun. Fuck off! Crap. 
Christ almighty, that was a pain in the ass. As soon as I saw it swap to the grass, I was like, something's going to come attack me. Told you guys. Told you something was going to attack me. It may have attacked me when I thought it was going to attack me, but it attacked me. Those little human centipede type creatures. That's what I'm going to call those guys. Human centipede type creatures, because that's what they remind me of. Human centipede. They also kind of remind me of cat dog, but I don't want to traumatize people who love that show like I do. Um, I hate my cats. I hate my cats. I think that's a, a, a phrase every cat owner says on like a daily basis. I got off you too. Didn't I? I have like my window tacked up, my, my curtain tacked up in a few different spots now. I have to tack it up more because my cats are still finding way inside of it. Let's try this again. Tune, 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 tune. What's going to attack us? Something's going to attack us after this. I just know it. Something big's going to attack us. Whoever's following her is going to attack me. Guaranteed. It's, it's my luck in this game. May I just say, though, the graphics in this game are impeccable. Like, seriously. Like, I don't think people realize, but, like, the graphics nowadays for video games are just fantastic. Wait for the one comment that says, and then there's Minecraft. <laughs> like, and then there's Minecraft. Although, I mean, you know, graphics don't make, graphics doth not maketh the game. Next one. We're about to be back to O'Neill's safe house. Holy crap. That's how far we're going. I'm waiting for some. That's the good news. One sec, guys. <clears throat> Give me a sec. Uh, there's a jacket here at my house that's not mine. I don't think it's my uncle's, so I'm trying to see if it's my brother's. Give me a I gotta take an actual picture of my phone because I cannot use the camera like if you go to your app and go to take a picture or something like your camera looks like crap and you can't turn the flash on it's one of those situations where i need to have the flash on because i need to actually be able to see the fucking thing so i can show them what it looks like uh done send <coughs> oh excuse me yeah, there's a jacket that was left at my home after Thanksgiving. And I don't know if it's my brother's or if it's my sister-in-law's or if it's my uncle's. Um, but basically, I need to figure out whose it is. So I don't want somebody not having their jacket, you know what I mean? Tune, 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 tune. Whew, this is honestly a hell of a mission. Like, I did not... This is like a side... Actually, wait, I think this is the main part of this. I believe I tracked down all of the Mobius agents so far. I can't remember for sure, but I think I have. Um, there might be an achievement for it, but I think I've tracked down all of the guys at least. It seems that way. It looks like she stopped here to hide. Oh, is it gonna bring me into her weird first-person, tiny person view again? No. Okay. <laughs> Smart girl. Lots of good places to hide in there, I bet. I've been in that warehouse partially. Didn't go all the way in. Glad I didn't now. Because I think I probably would spoiled some things for myself. I'm gonna have to go inside this place. I purposely didn't go in here before. Mainly because I was scared shitless of how it looked on the inside. Like, if you guys remember me going through this place, like, look at this. Really? Hmm. Shit. Yeah, I saw it coming. This game likes to fuck with me. On multiple levels. Now it's not just like the phys the um, the uh, mental either. It's not. It's not just psychological like it was in the first game. It's now, it's now also emotional. She probably crawled through here. 
gotta get through. She's a brave and resourceful little girl. She's gonna be okay. I just gotta find her. Okay, so it is my brother's. Which means that mystery solved. So it means my brother will probably be back in a few days to grab it. That's an arm. That's a leg. Well, now I know what they mean when they what they say when they mean or what they mean when they say it will cost you an arm and a leg. There we go, Sebastian. Much quieter. I don't know. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, this probably won't be the best way to go then because it's partially broken. Probably gonna end up falling on my ass like an idiot. Oh no, there's a light in there. Okay, so it seems like she's not in here. Try and be thorough, that's all guys. Uh, I think since, oh, let's see how much more time we got. Got about 12 minutes left, so I might record one more episode after this. I might record episode 10. I'm, I'm recording a lot in the next few days just because um, I haven't been sleeping very well. You know, um, if you guys didn't notice, most of the videos have been kind of going up like one right after the other basically for the past few days and it's because I've been sleeping very poorly recently um I think actually one of the videos yesterday Somehow I need went up late there. but I can't remember a way on the other side. Uh, I don't want to go to the other side because I know it's going to be over there a person wanting to kill me but uh continuing on so yeah if you didn't notice yesterday one of the videos uh this is Wait, what am I saying? Like, last week, Sunday, basically. Or, two weeks ago, Sunday, basically. Uh, the videos kind of were weird. But it's because I've been sleeping very well in the past few days. Uh, I'm recording this the 27th. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's kind of the reason the uploads have been really weird recently. Um, either they'll be right one right after the other. Or, like it was with Evil Within and uh, WWE most, uh, on the 26th. Um one followed by one like six hours later or seven hours later because i fell asleep typically if you guys don't know i like to upload one video early in the morning and one video at around three ish my time uh because i like uploading at certain times and those are about my those are basically the times i like uploading at I guess this explains why there's body parts all hacked to pieces. Where did he go? There he is. Well, that was easy. Anybody got a staples button? Because that was easy. I was like, I was just waiting for him to bust out, and as soon as he did, I was like, just gonna be pulling out my shotgun and shooting him immediately. <laughs> Which is exactly what I did. That was, ex that was my exact plan, was wait for him to, wait for him to bust out somewhere, because I know this game, and then shoot. Which I did. And it was very fucking perfect. May not have been done as fast and well as I wanted it to be, but still. Uh, reply infrastructure report core displacement report number 00654 1501 seismic trigger event this afternoon system checkup revealed disengaged percent recovery team for preliminary scout report filed to Mobius HQ shortly before outside contact lost 1632 so let's see 1501 um 3 p.m. 
3 or 1 p.m. If I remember correctly, let's see, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, so 3 or 1 p.m. Uh, so 4.32 p.m. At this point in time, core tracking unsuccessful, minor temporal displacement, but no major structural damage. Citizenry beginning to make call center inquiries. 18.03, so 6.03 p.m. Core still offline, minor fissures forming in city hall area. Citizenry may remain calm, but anise is growing, losing atmospheric control, temperature drops in double digits. Digits, digits. 2300 or 11 p.m. Another seismic trigger, City Hall Fisher becoming critical. Separation imminent if core isn't restored. Mobius Alpha team has arrived to aid in core search. Ooh, we've got a higher grade weapon part. Let's go weapon upgrades, uh, sniper. Uh, up, oh, I can't even upgrade it once. Shit, okay. Uh, let's go reload time. Get into level two. Uh, and we need 60 to do that, okay. Uh, ooh, shock bolt, nice. All right, here we go. Open the door. I love how these doors open both ways. Like that's not how doors work, but okay. Doll. Where's Lily? Dead. This blood's. No, I'm just kidding. That that'd be such a sad fucking thing. Her entire. She just completely. She's dead. That's all of her. All that blood's hers. Uh. What if we're gonna see chasing her finally? Oh, it's the guy in the suit. Don't move. Don't move, Lily. Stay still. Don't leave you. Oh, my God. Why do people always do this in horror movies and games? Like... Mm, okay, that one actually got... That jumps... That actually successfully got me scared. That one actually got me. Holy shit. Seriously though. Need to find another way. Seriously though. Not sure I can trust him. But he wants out of here as bad as I want to find Lily. O'Neal, Sebastian. Can you hear me? Hey you. You're breaking up. Shit. Not now. Maybe it'll work better outside. But uh, continuing on, why do people in horror movies and video games always do that? Like, they they think the best option is as soon as the the person chasing them, the murderer, leaves sight. Oh, I'm all good. They're not gonna find me now. Literally, immediately moves from the spot. Murderer pops up and gets them, or kidnapper. What in this case? Like, why would you move? Like, sit there and wait. Just wait for like another like five. Or 10 minutes. It's not going to hurt you to, to, to sit there for a bit. Oh, please tell me I'm not about to go back to Beacon. Mm. Oh, it's this dude. Hmm, great. Back to Hotel Creep Factor. I fucking hate this this place, guys. It's horrible. Let's grab out my sniper so I can see what the hell's going on down there. Well, found somebody. Oh no, that's O'Neal, isn't it? Oh, no, Randall, Randall Fig. I was expecting that to be O'Neal for some reason. You know, it looked like O'Neal. This 
smile for me. There you are. But where's Lily? Can't let him get away again. Sebastian. I'm not chasing this dude for you. But I get I get you want to get your daughter back and all. But fighting this dude is not going to end well. I don't think I'm going to fight until later game anyway. Hey! You! The girl! Where is she? Oh, fuck me. Never mind! Why did you have to say something, dude? Why? Why in your... <sighs> Sebastian! Look what you've done to me now! Look! Look what you've done! Yeah, fuck. Fuck is right. Okay, you fuck off. Oh my god. Game. Don't fuck me over on this right now, okay? Do not. In I don't want to die. Med kit, med kit, med kit. Hurry the fuck up, Sebastian. Are they all dead? I feel like there's still one. Ah, there you are. I knew you were still alive, you piece of shit. Reload your ammo. Hurry the fuck up, Sebastian. Christ almighty. Thank you for dying with us. Please don't ever come again. Shit, lost him again. Hope I can reach O'Neal this time. I feel like O'Neal's dead still. O'Neal, it's Sebastian. Wow, Neil. No, but I know who has her, and he's got powers like nothing else in here. But I lost him. I think I can help you out with that. I picked up a frequency I've never seen before. It's coming from City Hall. Great. Where's that? Look up. Do you see a building with a big clock tower? Yeah. That's it. Oh. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? It's a bit complex. Come back here. I can explain. Right. I'm on my way. I knew it was going to be one of the damn things in the motherfucking sky. I knew it. Oh, fuck me. Come on. Dude, guys, I do not have time for this. I'm trying to find Sebastian's dog. There's a floating knife. You guys saw that, right? There was a floating knife. I don't know if that was supposed to be there, but that was awesome. Just knife casually floating. All right. I feel like, I feel like going through here will be the best option. Walk behind clicker bitch and boom. Immediately go for the brain. I forgot you can't one kill these bitches for some reason. I'm not shooting you. Yeah, fuck you bitch. Fucking attack me. Almost fucking kill me. <sighs> nah, I'm just kidding. Just imagine we're this is how it's gonna go. We're gonna be going through all this badass shit, okay? We're gonna be like doing doing really good work against all these like things and shit. Then we're gonna come up on some shitty ass little zombie guy, and that's what's gonna kill me. I guarantee it. We're gonna do very. I'm gonna do fantastic and not die for a long ass time. And some little bitch zombie is gonna come up and eat me and kill me immediately. Like it's gonna one hit me after like a boss fight or something. Not even joking. Had that happen to me in uh in the first game. Had finished a boss fight. Was literally trying to run around and find health, trying to find a minute to heal really quick, and uh, I got I got uh, attacked. <laughs> so. There's a guy who said, oh, please sub back to my channel, basically. Uh, I'm going to add a bit of uh, quick five minutes to the timer. Who basically said, sub back to my channel. Now I'm subscribed to mine, first off, and I can check that. 
not subscribed to mine, comments on every video I, I, I upload saying, like, nice video and stuff, trying to act, trying to, like, get me to go check out his channel. It's not going to work, dude. You can say, nice video on every video you see of mine, but I'm still not going to fucking check. I mean, he could be subscribed to me, and it could have, literally, he could have subscribed as somebody else unsubscribed, which does happen on occasion. But, like, I didn't see that he subscribed. It didn't give me a, a, a notification that he subscribed. So he, unless he subscribed to me a long time ago, and I just never noticed, he's not subscribed to me, basically is what I'm saying. And he's trying to get me to sub to his channel. I'm like, dude, you're not even sub to mine. Why should I sub to yours? There's a blinking light right here. It's going to be a bad idea. Hmm, nice. Alright, we can run. I don't think there's any around us now, so we can go back. We can run over here. Alrighty then. Let's go talk to O'Neal, my favorite fucking character in this game so far. The only other real character I know in this game so far besides the nurse, and she's kind of a bitch. And Kidman, well, Kidman's Kidman, she's a bitch. Thank you for this nerd, uh, Mr. O'Neal. Give me a minute, let me just... I need, I need to heal really quick. Let me get that sweet cup of gel. I wish you could grab the cup of coffee and then literally go talk to somebody while drinking it, but you can't, and it sucks. There we go. Nice and healed up now, aren't I? Let's see. Is there anything else over here to grab? Oh, it opened, but there's nothing in there. That sucks. All right, let's talk to you. you made it here okay. No Not shit, sure Sherlock. Okay is the right word, but yeah. Tell me how to get to City Hall. Union was built with a sort of backstage area, so Mobius operatives could observe the test subjects in secret. Most of these passageways are still intact enough to bypass the fissures in Union. But chunks of the city are floating in the air. How are their tunnels? They're passageways, not tunnels. When you go in and out of them, you're basically phase shifting. We call it the marrow. It exists in a layer separate from what ah. you see. Ah. It doesn't make any sense. Fortunately for you, it doesn't have to make sense. It just has to work, but it's a maze down there. If you take the wrong path, you could end up on the other side of town. Where's this Meryl that gets me to City Hall? And who comes up with these ridiculous names? I'll mark the location of the port. It's in the North Safe House. Oh, so the Looks Safe House I've already found. Computer, but it's not. I'll give you the password you need to activate it. Once you're inside, follow the marker to exit B2. B2. That should take you straight to City Hall. You Got it. You told me this on my communicator, you know. Maybe so, but I couldn't have given you this. Oh. The passageways are still intact, but the collapse of Union has caused infrastructure issues. My communicator says that the gas leak is blocking the path to exit B2. You'd never make it through alive without this. Thank you. Deadly gas leaks, huh? <laughs> Thanks for saving the worst for last, Odeo. Based on what we've seen so far, I doubt that it's the worst you'll encounter. Fair point. You're not helping. Anything else you need to know before you go? Um... Why, why are you not coming with me, dude? Oh, chapter four! Yes, chapter four behind the curtain. All right, but you guys, that is going to do it for episode nine. We just blasted through everything on this episode today. Damn, we got everything with uh, finding where Lily's at done, basically. So we know that creepy McFucking shitty hotel manager has her. Uh, that's, his, that's not his official title, by the way. I'm going to come up with an actual name to call him. He kind of reminds me of a dude from uh, Tokyo Ghoul. But uh, continuing, uh, so, and we've also found out how to get to City Hall and ha what the password is for that computer to enter the marrow in that area. I'll see you all in the next one. Stay golden. Peace.